Hey, beautiful people, it's your girl T, and I'm here, y'all, to do a review and flip through of Chelsea's Object Arrangement Seek and Find Coloring Book. I was contacted by Chelsea Gildean, and she asked if I would be so kind as to do a flip through of her newest, re newest release book um, on my channel. And I said, hey, why not? I don't mind sharing um, different types of medium and books and things like that uh, to you all on my channel. This may not necessarily be for everyone or myself, but I'd like to put it out there for those people who are interested in this type of coloring book or any type of coloring book for that matter. So let's see here. So you guys may um, know or may have seen Chelsea's first book or one of her books called Color Quest Wonderland, Seek and Find. I'm gonna pop a picture right here on the screen. And this book uh, is also sold on Amazon as well as this one here, the new one. And so she so kindly sent this to me and we're gonna go ahead and flip through it. So just so that you guys know, this book was actually released in January on the 10th, a few days after my birthday. Um, it's eight and a half by 11 inches. It has 30 pages to color and seek and find things. And um, it retails for $11.95 on Amazon. So let's go ahead and flip this. This cover is matte finish. A lot of people love that. It's nice and smooth, almost like a rubbery feel. Oh, look, she gave me some, some stuff. All right, I call it swag, <laughs> company swag. So the first thing that she uh, entered or put into the book was this. Um, it says Chelsea Geldian Art. She can be found on Etsy as well on Instagram, and that is her information there. And she also gave me this cute sticker. This is so cute. Very colorful, very, very cute. All right, so let's go ahead and flip this book. Now this book is single-sided, and it is printed on Amazon paper. All right, so she has a little, thing, little message here. Um, just hello here you can begin your journey with the wildest um, through the wildest of imaginations do you see the list of items on the bottom of each page your quest is to find every one of those objects and color them in so if you like that kind of thing this is the book for you all right so you have a list of the items here at the bottom and you are to find those in the picture you can color and then you know find them or uh, look for them and just color those items. That is totally up to you how you'd like to tackle each page. But um, this is the book here. Again, single-sided. The paper is Amazon printed, but it's on the thicker side. It's not very, it's not super thin, but it's not super thick either. It's like the standard Amazon paper, I guess. But as you can see, there are lots of doodles on each page in a square or rectangular um, bordered box that you can try to find. I don't know if I would like it the whole page. I think that would be just too much. So I think this nice little rectangular section is perfect. So as you can see here, we have a lot of different things to look for. And I think I will go ahead and do one of these pages and try to find, I will color in with a highlighter the um, images that I find. It will take me forever to color one page here on screen with you guys, but I will definitely try to find the items. I'm pretty good at these kind of books, but you never know, she might stump me. <laughs> uh, but yes, very nice. Um, I can even see Christian liking something like this. He, Christian is my son. He's in grade school. This is a very, um, a very nice book for those people who like things like Seek and Find or doodles, things like that. And again, you get 30 pages. 
to seek and find in color. And yeah. I don't have Wonderland and I have I've had it in my cart several times because I wanted wanted to try it. And when she reached out to me, I was like, oh, I don't know. I don't know this this artist, but uh, I'm glad that I looked her up. But anyhow, this is the key, all the answers to the puzzles on the previous pages. So she shows you where all of them are. I'm not gonna cheat, so I'm not gonna look too much. And then you have two additional pages and then the back cover. Um, it just tells you there are 30 intricate illustrations, 300 hidden objects, um, gives you, um, helps with uh, anxiety reduction and it's very relaxing. And so she's an illustrator from Fort Myers, Florida. She was in the Air Force for three years. She spends her time doing animal rights activism and taking care of her son. So go ahead and check out her other book as well. I'm going to link both books in the description below if you're interested in purchasing them. And now we're gonna go to some seeking and finding. So I'm gonna start with the very first page. Ooh, a chocolate bar. Okay, so let me go get a highlighter. Okay, just in case it bleeds through, I'm going to put a blotter page back here. And we're going to seek. So let me zoom in just a bit so you guys can see a little better. I'm just going to call out the items because you're not going to see them on the page. <laughs> oh, the written items, I'll just call those out. All right, so the first thing you need to find is a chocolate bar. Gosh, got it! Straight away. And of course, guys, you know I'm using a pink highlighter because pink is my color. All right, next I need to find noodles. Noodles. So I guess the trick is like, is it gonna be noodles in a bowl? Noodles in a box or packaging? And, or, like how is it going to be? Oh, found it. It's a bowl of ramen noodles. I hope that's correct. I'm thinking it is. All right, then we have a picture frame we need to find. A picture frame. Wondering if the picture frame is going to have a picture in it or not. So, these can get tricky. So I'm not, not sure if this is the picture frame. I'm going to say it is because it has a picture in it and I'm going to select this whole, this whole one here. A gingerbread man. I did see him, now I lost him. Oh, right up here. And then we have an outlet. So I'm thinking an outlet, a wall outlet. Wow. Hmm. Where is that? So I'm looking for a wall and an outlet. This one might be kind of tricky because I'm not really sure what that one is going to look like. Hmm. Found it. Ta da! All right, next we have a diary. Very quick, right here. All right, a dinner plate. I wonder if it's going to have dinner on it. I think so. And I'm going to go with this one here because it looks like a plate with food. All right, a banana. Let's see, I wonder if it's gonna be small because there are some really small images in here. Come on, banana. 
if something's going to be holding the banana. Hmm, where are you, banana? Okay, so I'm kind of stumped on where the banana is, so I'm going to move on to the next one. Uh, glasses. Here we go here. And a toilet. <laughs> here, so we're gonna go back and try to find this banana. Now you can check your answers in the back, but I'm pretty confident that those are the correct ones. I just need to find this banana. I don't know if it's big, small, medium size, if something's holding it. Um, where is that banana? Hmm. I'm not quitting. One left and you can't find it. I think this is it guys, cause this is the only thing that I see that kind of looks like a banana. So I'm gonna go with this one here. And that's it y'all. I found the chocolate bar, the noodles, the picture frame, the gingerbread, the outlet, diary, di dinner plate, banana, glasses, and the toilet. <laughs> so um, as you can see, you know, it's pretty quick fun if you just want to focus on finding the items. Now, if you're wanting to, wanting to color this whole thing, then you do have that option too of coloring the whole thing. Um, but yes, yeah, so that is Chelsea's Object Arrangement Seek and Find Coloring Book. Again, ladies and gents, I will have this book linked in the description below as well as, as her other one, Wonder uh, Color Quest Wonderland, if you're interested. And if you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Until next time, y'all, take care.